Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM Squared Consulting. This short YouTube provides a very high level overview of the work we did with the City of Edmonton team in helping to learn how we can translate the way we move strategy and goals into action, into scorecards and dashboards used by councillors and the city to help manage their way forward. This YouTube is a short summary. What follows is a 40 minute overview that you can listen in more detail about the work we did. This work was done with a number of goals, in no particular order. They wanted to build a standard, reliable, repeatable way to measure the corporate strategy, the six corporate strategies, and the various, uh, the way goals. In so doing, we wanted to make sure that we could show a relationship between those goals and the processes and projects that the city employees work within. We also wanted to understand how we could report in a timely manner to diverse stakeholders such as citizens and councillors the issues of interest to them, but not by reinventing stuff, but rather by leveraging off what has already been built. Now, there's no shortage of strategic thinking that we used as the template for this work between the way ahead and the various the ways strategies, the business plans and management reports. We we're able to harvest a wide amount of perspectives on how to run the business. In fact, many attempts have been done before us to try to begin to put dashboards or scorecards in place around how the city runs. The dilemma, in fact, is that there's so many of these, it looked to us like there's a better part of 350 objectives and slightly under 500 different measures used. Although these are accurate, it becomes a complex model, and part of the activities was how do we simplify that into a more holistic view that contains the essence of the organization. Again, I want to emphasize that we didn't reinvent anything. In fact, we should be able to take the primary documents, in this case, the way ahead, and the cascaded version of that, the way that we move, and understand how the way we move supports the way ahead. So to do this, we should be able to list the six key objectives from the way ahead across the top, and the seven goals from the way we move down the left. And we should understand how the way we move supports those six corporate objectives. So. If we take those and fill in the grid, we can fill in with high, medium, and low. High indicating a, a strong support of, in this case, transportation and land use integration in supporting transform urban form and so forth. This evaluation begins to understand and explain to us where the way we move supports the corporate objectives and vice versa. That table allows us to begin to determine where are the key measurement points in the organization. In fact, what we should be able to do if we're going to take an objective like transform urban form, we'll list that on the left. Then everywhere there's a high or medium connection, we know that we need to begin building some sort of drill down or hierarchy explaining what that linkage is between those objectives and the overall corporate goals. When we began working those down, we were able to quickly determine areas of importance that transcended the objectives and specific measures which were already being collected that allowed us to report how we were performing against those objectives. Now, those measures were harvested from the existing scorecards. There's nothing here that we need to begin reporting, but rather we're taking the same data we have and putting it into context. Now, we then took a look at how we could possibly build out a reporting system. So that same hierarchy now becomes a drill down. In this case, we only have data below the transportation mode shift, but we can see that we're meeting our expectations. As we drill into that, we can begin to understand the cause and effect relationship between the various issues of interest to citizens, councillors, and the process outcomes and output measures and the overall success of the organization. So, in this way, we can widely communicate how we're performing and also educate people in the cause and effect relationship between these things. In fact, we can even do activities like mouse over these activities and begin to see more detail about how we're performing, where the targets are, and so forth. We can do a similar activity by taking a look at the projects. So, if we take those activities and list them down the left, 
and across the top we list the core projects. Now in this case we took a sampling of projects from growth, renewal and internal composite programs just to test out the model. And from there we could understand which projects impacted which performance measures. So what that allows us to do is to begin producing reports. In this case on the left we'll take those same data elements we're looking at and broadcast how we're performing and provide some sort of narrative analysis. And on the right take that analysis we did in the projects and reflect which projects are helping us achieve those objectives. So in this case we've gone from the corporate goals to the way we move to specific measures and how the projects link up to them. We've completed that linkage experiment. What we can also do is produce a series of other reports similar to the scorecard report that you currently get but now we can update it as frequently as the data is updated. And a series of other reports which depending on whether you're looking at them online or not provides you with the drill down capability and so forth. So we've proven that this is doable. We can build it quickly because so much work has already been done and we can leverage off that work to provide these scorecards. Going forward, activities that we need to do could include building to the rest of the way we move objectives. We've only looked at the core corporate objective goal of uh, transform. There are five others we could look at. Likewise, we can begin moving this forward to show how it links to our budgeting activities. So we have linkage between these processes, projects, budget, and the strategy. And then, of course, we can begin building out the other the way strategies, you know, the way we prosper, the way we live, and so forth. We hope this has been useful to you. Again, a more detailed review is available if this summary requires further elaboration, or feel free to contact anyone on the scorecard team. Thank you for your time.